Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris and it's another episode of Creatively Speaking. First of all, guys, I want to thank you guys for the support in regards to this podcast. Thank you so much. It means the world to us. It just, with that support, it brings this podcast one level up. So I thank you a lot because that is really important because what we were trying to achieve is have more people listening to these podcasts. That way we can entertain you and hopefully educate you in the same breath. If you want to learn more about supporting uh, this particular podcast, feel free and click the link onto this episode or you can go onto the URL anchor.fm slash cash hunt C-A-S-H-U-N-T dot com and all the information will be there. So this right here uh, episode is going to be a review. Uh, It's an Audible review. If you don't know about Audible, uh, definitely uh, look into it, especially if you're a reader. If you don't have the time to sit down on a couch by the fireplace, pull out a book and flip from one page to the other, this is definitely the the best alternative. It was actually introduced to me about a year ago. I was pretty skeptical at, at first, but... Audible is a company slash app that once you click onto it, it has a phenomenal library of books, fiction, nonfiction, and everything in between that you can listen on your device. You can plug it into your car and, you know, as you're going to work or going on a long trip, you can actually listen into the book of your choosing and um, quite frankly, probably whiz by books uh, more than you would have ever imagined. And that's the case. And I am a reader. So uh, it's a phenomenal tool. So I just want to do a really quick book review. I've read quite a few books uh, in the past year. And I just want to spotlight on a couple and I'm going to be spotlighting on these particular books, ones that I think that are worthwhile in regards for a review. Um, And uh, with that being said, the first book that I want to review is a book that is a biography from one of the biggest uh, cinema creators, uh, directors, and that is George Lucas. Who is George Lucas? Unless you've been living in a closet or under a rock, it is really the man that created the universe that we all know as Star Wars um, and Indiana Jones and THX Sound. Uh, just a variety of different American graffiti. I mean, the list goes on and on. And as far as production and uh, what he's produced um, and has collaborated with it is really a, a phenomenal list. But this is a great book. I don't want to spoil any of it, um, but I just got to mention right off the bat, one thing about Audible to know is that the book of your choosing is great. The other key thing is that the narrator, whoever is chosen to read this book to you, has to be pretty darn good as well. And the gentleman's name is Brian J. Jones. Phenomenal na- narration of this book. I mean, it's a big book for him to narrate it. It's smooth. It's it's good to the ears. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a fantastic journey um, that he tells, uh, you know, in regards to George Lucas's uh, story. And as far as George Lucas is concerned, it is a, it is a book that really kind of starts right from the get-go, uh, right from a young boy into school years, college, cinema school, and obviously uh, where he actually becomes George Lucas. Um, quirky kid, comic book reading kid, geeky, you name it. Um, cinemaphile type of individual, literally in his teens which you would never imagine was a a race car enthusiast um gets into an accident of some sort which i won't spoil that's something that is actually interesting and uh eventually um gets involved with all this inspiration with um comic books and cinema and all that kind of falls into the lap of uh, going to film school now he was supposed to be something else that his uh, father wanted him to be and he decided to go this route and that causes a little bit of conflict as well that's something that you can read in the book which is extremely interesting the scenario of the film part was even more fascinating because he's trying to figure out a, a guy like George Lucas how in the world does this guy create this humongous universe that we know today that is over 40 years old and um, where was the thought process Star Wars came you know, it came out in 77, but those notes started, you know, four, five, six years prior. And it is fascinating to, you know, go into this guy's mind of this pet project that he had written in notebooks in regards to characters that we're familiar with, what they were supposed to be, what they were supposed to look like, 
um, certain, you know, locations that were supposed to be used that we're familiar with that weren't used and, you know, until later on. So it's just an amazing, uh, an amazing thought process and his relationships with then upcoming, um, you know, at that point, no name directors that are really the juggernauts of the cinema world. Francis Ford Coppola, Martin Scorsese, Brian De Palma, his relationships with those individuals, how being that he was so quirky, his relationships were smooth and very much rocky. And that was making for a very interesting profile of this particular young man that turned into this icon, uh, his relationships with his family, uh, his spouse, uh, just a variety of different scenarios. Uh, and then eventually spinning off, you know, from the Star Wars universe into the Indiana Jones, where his inspirations came from, where the names of the characters came from was fascinating. Uh, the names of the, of the planets and whatnot, really amazing stuff. It's to be honest with you, I feel like you know, uh, listening quote unquote to it another time. Uh, once again, it was just that that was that quick, that smooth, and it was fascinating in that regard. His relation to Spielberg, and you know, it just kind of goes on right up to the point of um, his literally letting go of the whole Lucasfilm. Um, you know, juggernaut uh, universe and, and selling it to Disney. So phenomenal read, quick read. Uh, it's several, the book is several hours long. I kind of finished it in about a week. Um, but it is a book that I found myself playing, rewinding, playing again, and really kind of jotting it down and really, um, really taking it in and uh, was just uh, mesmerized by it. So definitely. Uh, pick it up if you can't if you if you can't read it like as far as picking up the physical physical book definitely go get audible it is definitely well worth the money uh, it is very affordable um, you're given a credit a month that you can use to any book doesn't matter what the price of the book is I believe the membership is I think fourteen dollars a month and uh, those credits can actually add up especially if you're taking your time on a book, but it has a phenomenal, phenomenal library of books for you to read. So definitely enjoy it, but definitely if you're a big cinema fan like I am, uh, and if you're a big Star Wars fan, most definitely pick up this book. But if you're a fan of creativity and um, inspiration, like a creative, a creative inspiration in cinema, definitely pick it up. George Lucas, A Life. Thanks so much, guys, for listening. And again, always support this podcast. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.